This summer, I had a wonderful opportunity to intern at Wabi Sabi Weaving, home of Sawari San Diego. I made a whole series of vlogs about my internship experience, so if you want to go check those out, I'll leave links in my video description. In this video, I'm going to show you the details of the weaving project that I worked on while I was there. And fair warning, things are going to get a bit more technical than usual. This past year in my textile design program, I've spent a lot of time exploring multi-shaft weaving, but I've never actually combined that kind of weaving with my sawari style. Suzanne, the owner of Wabi Sabi Weaving, had a four-harness sawari loom hiding out in the back of her studio, which she let me experiment with. And having access to this loom gave me a really fun opportunity to combine complicated structured weaves and my crazy no-rules-apply weaving style. A typical sewery loom, like the one I have at home, has only two harnesses and two pedals, so you can only weave with one pattern that's called plain weave. This loom is different because it has four harnesses and six pedals, which means lots of opportunities for different kinds of woven patterns. But before we get into that, I need to first make a warp. picked out a whole bunch of cotton yarns in colors that made me really happy, and then I wound my warp in a way that would give me really distinct stripes, because I thought that would be a fun way to show off the four harness magic. In total, my warp was 6 meters long and 200 threads wide. Then it was time to put the warp on the loom and to figure out my threading. This is where things are going to get a bit technical, so bear with me for a moment. To explain things simply, harnesses are the rectangular frames that hold the heddles. So having a four harness loom means that I basically have four groups of heddles, each numbered one through four, where the first harness closest to me is harness one, the next is two, then three, and then the farthest is four. In multi-shaft weaving, there are tons of ways to thread your loom, and the pattern that you thread your yarns in plays a role in the pattern that's going to appear on your fabric. Since I'm just playing around, I wanted to keep things really simple, so I went with a basic straight draw, which means that I first threaded a heddle from harness 1, then a heddle from harness 2, then harness 3, and then harness 4, and I just kept repeating that pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. But here's where I had a chance to mess around, be creative, and make it my own. I decided to specifically explore the concept of taking this really directional, traditional pattern and impulsively throwing in some direction changes. So every now and then, whenever I felt like it, I decided to just go the other way and count backwards just for the heck of it. So my one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four pattern was occasionally interrupted by a four, three, two, one. Because why not? Hopefully this makes sense. There are literally an infinite number of ways I could have threaded this and experimented with the four harnesses, but messing around with the concept of the straight draw seemed like a really fun place to start. Whew, okay, let's take a break from all the technical stuff and wind some bobbins. So for my weft, I'm using all of the same cotton yarns that I used to make my warp. decided to throw in this crazy blue eyelash yarn just to make things a little more cheerful. Okay, we're all nice and even and now I can see if my pattern worked. So what I'm going to do is just weave in a very simple, very straightforward twill pattern. And what that means is that I'm going to step on each petal in either ascending or descending order. So when I press petal number one, harness number one will go down and all the threads that are on harness one go down with it and everything else stays up. So we're gonna do one, then I'm gonna follow that with two, three, and four. And I'm just gonna do that a couple times because we won't see the pattern until there's a little bit more fabric woven. Ah, 
Okay, so everything is pretty much working out exactly as I had hoped, which is like a really good feeling. So pretty much I've just been treadling with that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four pattern. And what that's doing is that it's creating diagonal lines throughout my weaving. So wherever I was threading the heddles in the one, two, three, four order, a line is going in one way. And whenever I threaded the heddles in a four, three, two, one order, a line's going in another. So I have some lines going left, some going right. And I don't know, I think it's a really cool effect and I'm excited to keep playing around with it. I do have one pretty big threading error and of course it's right in the middle of my project, but honestly, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna pretend it's a design element and just keep going because honestly, I don't really mind and also I don't really wanna deal with it. So that's just gonna be a feature of the fabric. rest of this weaving, I kept going with the same idea, which is pressing the petals in either an ascending order, so one, two, three, four, or a descending order, so four, three, two, one, and then changing up my weft colors whenever I felt like it. This sounds like it might be pretty complicated and require a lot of thinking, but the reality is it's pretty easy to get into a rhythm when the treadling pattern is so straightforward. I didn't need to memorize any fancy weaving drafts or really count at all for that matter. And if I ever forgot what number I was on or what to do next, I would just switch directions. I really set no rules or restrictions for myself other than maintaining that twill design, but the twills didn't take away from any of the joy or meditation of the freestyle weaving. It just added more opportunities for random creative decision-making and I had such a fun time. I slowly chipped away at this project over the course of my four week internship and on my very last day in San Diego, I finished my fabric and I cut it off the loom. I'm done. with how this project turned out. I had so much fun combining the technical aspects of multi-shaft weaving and the whimsical free-spiritedness of saori weaving, and I made a fabric that I really love. It's both structured and wild at the same time, which is a balance that I really enjoy. And I think that the twills added such interesting design elements to the fabric. Thank you so much for following me on my Sayori four shaft weaving adventure. I know this video got really dense and technical at times, but my hope is that sharing all the details of this project with you could maybe help you look at multi-harness weaving with a new perspective. So if you wanna see some more of my textile adventures, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.